The narcissist fakes being normal. The word normal can be difficult to define. To define the word you would need to have a reference point. A standard for comparison. Which is likely to be based on situations or experiences that you've had with people in the past. And the narcissist is able to chime in to these experiences. They ask you a lot of questions. They typically want to know about the people you've been involved with in the past. So that they know how to act. And then they can appear as though they're conforming to a usual or expected standard. Whatever may seem normal for you. So they typically act as though they have a great interest in you. As though they wanted to know or learn more about you. As though you have their undivided attention. Because you've excited their curiosity. When in fact it's all fake. They disguise their hate as love. Because when they come around a person that they're deeply involved. It's because they can't stand them. They experience a strong feeling of dislike. A reluctance and lack of enthusiasm. They act like they're into you. But it's just to disguise their rage. Even while you're helping them. They're thinking competitively. Of how they're going to cause serious problems for you. Because they're willing to do whatever it takes to get an advantage over you. But they can act loyal and committed. So it may seem like you have this friendly relationship. When you're actually sleeping with the enemy. Someone who is betraying you. And yet. You don't even know it. Because it looks like they just want to possess and control you completely. As though they're very jealous. And they just want to keep you all to themselves. So you're sharing all of your plans with them. You're confiding in them about your difficulties or suffering. Or even your goals and dreams. And you wonder why it comes to nothing. Why it fails to happen every time. Or why there's a lack of activity, growth or development. When if you trace it back to its source. It's always down to the very person that got involved with. Because maybe you're going to the church or to the temple. You may be praying every day. You may be reciting positive affirmations. But nothing is working. It's not amounting to anything because they're discouraging and dejecting it. They're the reason why you're not progressing. And they may not be doing anything in the physical realm. It may be spiritually or energetically. Because we all have our own energy. Everything is made up of energy. And if you're dealing with someone whose energy is the complete opposite of what yours is, Everything that you're sending out is being brought down in spirit. Because they're thinking negatively. They're manifesting doubt. But they're never going to come out and tell you this. They're never going to say that they don't want you to progress. But if you ever exceed the expectations that they had for you. It will make them really shocked and upset. Because they don't expect you to do anything greater than what you're doing. So if you do manage to exceed their expectations, that's when they will involve their energy so that they can tear it apart because they're disguising their hatred as love. They're just pretending to be normal, which can be very confusing because at times it may seem like they're supportive and encouraging as though they want you to succeed. 
But if you ever do, they're not going to seem pleased or satisfied about it. They might say that they're proud of you. But their energy says something different. And that is something they cannot hide. Because even when they say it, you don't feel it. And it's because they dislike something about you. Even though it may be the very things that other people admire about you, they hate it. So they will never acknowledge how much you have progressed. They may have done something for you in the past. Maybe they helped you out with something. But it wasn't authentic or sincere. They didn't mean what they said. It wasn't coming from a good place. It was just to pacify you. To subdue your anger and agitation. To make you calm and quiet. To cause you to become more favorably inclined. So that they could gain your good will. And then they could feel like they're held in high regard. As though they're powerful and superior. Because they had to do something for you. And then they can use it against you at a later date. It just makes them feel alive. They hope and wait for it very eagerly. They want you to need them. Because something went wrong. And this is their reason for doing what they do. Because then you're feeding them. Every time that you seek comfort from them. And then you're paying attention to them. And you hold them in high regard. When it wasn't even genuine. And yet you're holding on to these emotional feelings about memories of past events. When you need to detach from it. They may have done something then, but what are they doing for you now? Because you did things for them as well. So you can't let them capture and imprison you, as this person who was meant to fulfill certain conditions or terms based on one thing that they helped you with. Because that's just a part of the game. And they're only doing it because they hate you. They don't want to see you succeed, but they fake being normal. They disguise their hatred as love, as though they care about you and as though they want to see you do better. And they may even tell you this, but pay attention to their energy. Are they motivating and inspiring you? Because if it's real, then you will feel that energy. Otherwise, you won't feel anything. They're just going to be giving you words. And you will be putting your energy into those words. Which will make you feel like they care. When their words are just to pacify you. To subdue your anger or agitation. To make you calm and quiet. So that they can gain an advantage over you and be held in high regard. When they haven't even done anything to earn that position with you. But they use it to prevent you from realizing that there is no love. The only intense and passionate feelings they have is hate. But they know how to disguise it. And to make you think that it is love. But it isn't genuine. It's not real. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. 
hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at people.me slash narc survivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.